Welcome, welcome, welcome to Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I'm Lustig Paddy, your host, and today we're looking at Frey, Champions of the Everyverse. Well, let's go to the highlight reel. The Frey, Champions of the Everyverse. Ooh. Anyway, it's an interesting lineup. Some uh, melee close quarter combat. Some are range with the arrows. Some are magic wielders. You can see. This one here, though, look at her. She's got no weapons, wearing a dress like she's going to a ball. Um, some There's like rumors going around that Kickstarter projects are getting hit by <clears throat> Nemesis. But I don't think that's true. I mean, nice box cover here. We do like this art. A mysterious cast, we'll say that much. In Frey, champions of the Everyverse, your goal is simple. Buff yourself means get stronger. Debuff means weaken. This word buff is coming from the video game industry. It's kind of weird. How How is a pirate really going to go up against a, a wizard? Be a fantasy here. It tries to bend on the sci-fi, but it's not like we've got um, an ATST in the in the arena here. Or an Ed 209, but the arena looks massive. Look at this table. With all these squares here, you could really be a far distance away from each other at the beginning. Yeah, you're just all in the boxing ring and you're all flying spells and weapons and all this jazz. And if you're a range, you're just going to be kiting the melee guy around. So balancing melee and ranger, that has me kind of worried. Uh, team mode then, up to four players, take on a team, a r battle royale. So if you're up against the other champions then here, who's taking control of them? That, that seemed more fun anyway, where there's a game master with all the characters trying to attack your team. That's a kind of nice. Got a uh, nice art with a glow around it in the middle. I do like that. Use this card to re-roll any one die. So it's not, <laughs> it's not like super powerful. It's just a re-roll. It's kind of, it almost is dull. There's lots of like different things that you can be doing here, and that's what I like about it. It has this nice open-ended system. There's but only 15 unique items. D20 makes it certainly interesting, doesn't it? And these D6 dice, I mean, almost like Monopoly dice, don't they? But the battle dice look amazing. It would be kind of strange if you got two of these in your hand. It would be kind of weird in two of the same shields. So. Champion's Axe of Frost, and then the Champion's Axe of Fire, and had similar art, but just mixing it up with colours, and then you could have had two of these that are unique. That would have been really easy to do. Stretch goals. <clears throat> uh, they got the linen treatment coming up. Nice. Double-sided board with some kind of indoor arena. So it kind of worries me that it says new champion, ninja, and an item card, but it doesn't say miniature here, so it's very confusing. There's not much information on these. That's not going to unlock three, is it? I don't know. It would have been nicer here to show the abilities too, so we can get to see how they roll out. Because showing the special abilities, showing the ultimates, will get people excited about these. Could do with more. And they're just kind of posing like they might be in a museum. Yeah, they all look good. They just could be more dynamic. Definitely could be more dynamic. So I still don't know what this character is all about. It's just weird. You know, the, the abilities are kind of... It looks like these abilities... They've only got three abilities which are attack. Have they not got any support? Have they not got any defense? Special abilities? It's a very small rule book. Champions of the Everyverse needs to do a lot more to tell you its message. And with all these characters, it would be beautiful to show off all of the cards with all their abilities so we can really investigate which characters we like. It's something to watch. I think it's got potential, but it needs, a, it needs, it needs to do more. Would we recommend it? Not yet, but... I'm still scratching my head at this Kickstarter, you know, where it could be doing more. And is it not bleedingly obvious that it needs to do more? Well, anyway, let's go to the Kickstarter page and we'll see where it can be improved, but it does have potential. So let's go to the Kickstarter page right after this important message from the studio. Kickstarter Radio 102.4 does not stand still. It is constantly evolving. 
Our Saturday show has just been upgraded to the newest, skinniest version, where we only look at the games we covered in the week in a new, skinnier format. Also, our live show on Sunday has been trimmed off the fat too, and we look at games that we could not cover in the week that are full of promise too. And also, we will be covering all the interesting and cool games that are worth your attention, so it is worth subscribing to this channel just to see all that we offer. So why not subscribe? and make this channel even better as we have a ton of social stretch goals. So this channel gets bigger, better, and better for you, the viewer that loves Kickstarters. So if you're bored of retail, this is the YouTube channel made for you. The Fray, champions of the every verse. Ooh, this is a fast paced arena skirmish game let's just stop there for a second an arena game where skirmish basically is an arena where you're battling all the opponents <clears throat> which um, sounds okay says it lets you pit champions against each other across genres and history it says well the little bit of lore is that um, this is somewhere in the universe and heroes are coming from all over the universe to fight the blood in the arena. Not sure why they would come. Is there a big prize on offer? Um, we shall see. Anyway, there's an interesting lineup um, at the beginning here with 12 characters. Some are melee, close quarter combatitions, some are range with the arrows, some are magic wielders, you can see here. We've also got some with pet classes, whether a robot or a bear in this class as well. And um, they certainly look very nice. This one here though, look at her. She's got no weapons, wearing a dress like she's going to a ball. I'm guessing she's a vampire. And um, maybe she's the dangerous of them all, as they say. The one that looks the fearless. Well, that doesn't look scary. It's probably the most scary of them all. <laughs> Anyhow, let's go down and have a look at this. Um, now, it's not got that many backers, to be fair. It's not got much coverage. In fact, we almost forgot about Frey when it popped last week. Um, it's got a, a goal that certainly looks like it can crush through. Um, some There's like rumours going around that Kickstarter projects are getting hit by <clears throat> Nemesis, but I don't think that's true. I mean, if you look at Nemesis, how much money it's made, it mainly made all of it in the first day, a little bit in the second one, tiny bit in the third day. It was for peeps that already knew that was coming out. The rest is fair game, and on Kickstarter, we've often seen giant projects side by side and still doing well so I don't think I just think to be fair Frey is not getting much attention I'll give it that much which is why we're, we think it needs covering because it certainly is interesting nice box cover here we do like this art this lady here which I think am I guessing a vampire this is her herself here we got a nice pirate which is <laughs> it's kind of fun uh, the wizard here of a giant beard. Look at this thing. Nice black lady with the uh, voodoo um, skull thing on. That'd be interesting. Some voodoo magic. Uh, samurai. I like the idea that samurai still kind of around in the future. We've got a guy who's LARPing Lord of the Rings here. <laughs> and who's this one here? What's that character all about? A mysterious cast, we'll say that much. In Frey, champions of the Everyverse, your goal is simple. Be the last one standing in a miniature skirmish game. Well, no. It's not the last one standing because there is a cooperative mode where you go against bosses, my understanding. So... So there we go. It says, every turn you generate combat resources for your champion and then spend them to attack or store them for more powerful abilities next turn. Ooh. 
There is some bluffing going on as well. It says play powerful item cards from your hand to bluff your opponent or debuff your opponent. So um, buff yourself means get stronger. Debuff means weaken. This word buff is coming from the video game industry, by the way. Is it is it come over to board games? Yes. So it has a story, does it? Does it have a story? It says a nexus point between all things that ever were and ever will be. So are they pulling these through like time and stuff like that? It's, it's kind of weird. How How's a pirate really going to go up against a, a wizard? Anyway, so we're talking sheer fantasy here. It tries to bend on the sci-fi, but it's not like we've got an, um, an ATST in the in the arena here, or an Ed 209, some kind of giant mech. Why is a mechanized unit not in here? Might be. We don't know. The stretch goals have all been unveiled, anyhow. Now we've got these player boards here, and a uh, nice big hero image, which is nice. Unique background on that, really cool. There's um, even a smaller one here for the pet classes. You've got your abilities across here. In fact, we, we don't really see these on the on the page until we get to the rulebook. But the arena looks massive. Look at this table. With all these squares here, you could really be a far distance away from each other at the beginning. And it reminds me of like a Royal Rumble. It is quite fun though. It is fast paced because you can move quickly around. It doesn't look like there's any... Um, environmental things that are kind of blocking path as well. It's like a, literally a royal rumble, isn't it? Um, so yeah, you're just all in the boxing ring and you're all flying spells and weapons and all this jazz. And, um, it's all happening. And potentially you could do your own type of rules. I mean, this, this could be 2v2 here. And, uh, so yeah, there's that. Uh, single, it says choose what type of game you want. So single mode where you and one opponent both pick one champion. Fast, this is going to be fast paced equipment. You've got one champion. Look how big it is. It's huge. <laughs> and if you arrange, you're just going to be kiting the melee guy around. I don't know. Maybe the melee person has a way of closing you quicker. But then if that's the case, the, the range person will have a way of blinking away from you. So, I don't know, it, it's going to look really... I don't know how the mechanics are working here when you've got a range versus melee. Melee can get close to you, but you can blink away. There's always an ability to kite. Should be an ability to kite. Otherwise, the melee's just going to get close to you and you just, you're just going to get crushed. I mean, where's the balance? So, balancing melee and ranger, that has me kind of worried. We'll say that much. Uh, team mode then, up to four players. Take on a team, a r battle royale. Um, so, if you're up against the other champions then here, who's taking control of them? Is it like a games master that's controlling more? That, that seems more fun anyway, where... There's a game master with all the characters trying to attack your team. That sounds more fun anyway. Um, so yeah, quite an interesting lineup here. And um, the stretch goals push it more. We shall see about that. The dice are quite nice. Um, attack, defense and movement on them. And... You have got the resources there that you can store up and... The abilities are all it's massive asynchrony between all the characters. And um, yeah, there are there are item cards in the game which um, really mix it up. And the cards for these are kind of nice. Got a uh, nice art with a glow around it in the middle. I do like that. They all have a unique name. Um, here, like Sethurius' spell book looks like an interesting item. This kind of red smoke coming off it uh, super cool but again it just says it's an instant spell 
use this card to re-roll any one die. So it's not, <laughs> it's not like super powerful. It's just a re-roll. It's kind of, it almost is dull. But it is what it is, you know. I guess they can't be too powerful because they want to put all the power on your abilities, not on these cards. <clears throat> now it's nice here, it says, be the last player with a champion standing and you'll be the contest of the Watchers. Um, I think what a, it, it would be quite fun if, I mean there's 12 here, but let's say it unlocks the full lot in these stretch goals that you was playing two player. And you each chose one hero, and if you defeat one, then the other person picks another hero to come into the game against you. Your health stays the same, and it's basically you're you're going through all the heroes to see who who scores the best. Because if you get a kill, being on the next hero, then it almost plays like a uh, video game mock combat Street Fighter, where you're. You, you know, you're keeping your health between each round and scoring it that way. That that way, it could be interesting and also really fun then because you're you're, you're going to be going through the characters. So there's lots of like different things that you can be doing here, and that, that's what I like about it. It has this nice open-ended system. Big board as well. Now these champion cars. Look at look at the size. You can't see this. We can't see this. These are the companion cards, and only two minis at 32 mil. They're all unique, of course. It says 14. It's 12 heroes, and maybe is it two companions that get that you get the other two. There's six of these item cards, and they're pushing more of these um, through. But it, it, it worries me here, it says 15 unique item designs. So there, there could be more than one of these in the deck. Um, uh, I mean, if the potions, like health potions, then I'm okay that they're, they're reused. But only 15 unique items. Maybe the stretch goal is going to push more unique items. We'll see. D20 makes it certainly interesting, doesn't it? And these D6 dice, I mean, these dice just look so standard. In fact, the D6 look almost like Monopoly dice, don't they? But the battle dice look amazing. I love the scatter dice and the damage die. It is um, looking more fun. Mm, maybe there's going to be a dice add-on or a dice stretch goal that makes these more, yeah, more Kickstarter-y. Uh, tokens, they're, they've um, had a re... These are the new ones, I, I think. There's an update talking about tokens. And, um... Yeah, you, you don't know what's going to come with the stretch goals. We'll, we'll, we'll see when we go down. Anyway, coming in as Kickstarter exclusive, we are getting some extra ones in. You can see that there's going to be two of these in the deck. So t there's going to be two champion axes, two uh, champion shields, and two champion boots. So... Oh, kind of strange if you got two of these in your hand. It would be kind of weird getting two of the same shields. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why they've kind of mixed this. They could have um, easily have, have done, like, a, you know, like a Champion's Axe of Frost and then a Champion's Axe of Fire and had similar art, but just mixing it up with colours, and then you could have had two of these that are unique. That would have been really easy to do. Shield of Frost, Shield of Lightning, could have easily done that. Um, you know, stuff like this. Uh, Rulebook will have a swing in there at the end, um, as it, it deserves a look in. Just to look at the player boards, and um, here's the mysterious one. Mysterious character. That would be... <laughs> Stretch goals, <clears throat> uh, they got their linning treatment coming up nice. Some Kickstarter cards voted by the community. I would get this bubbling as quick as it is actually this one. Extra set of dice. Uh, this is quite nice. However, the D6 and D20s, they need to be, you know. 
Game tray insert, this looks phenomenal. Nice to see this coming in and a double sided board with some kind of indoor arena. It looks almost like a dungeon. And it may have dodgeable, like run round for cover, maybe in this one. So that is not champions here. It kind of worries me that it says new champion, ninja, and an item card, but it doesn't say miniature here. So, and um, in the updates, it doesn't mention anything about that. So that needs more information for me. And we're getting some more exclu exclusive cards. I want to see more pet classes, actually. I want to see some mech classes, but it could go beyond this. Depends if it blows up or not. Um, now they've got some interesting social goals. Oh yes, look at this. Um, unlocks the arena and grand center. What is this? So not much information on these. This one unlocks Arabeth, Harold, and the sheriff. That's three characters here unlocking we've just retweets unlocks a gadget in a gatling turret you know so this is potentially i don't know arabeth harold and sheriff are they? these are not characters are they it's very confusing there's not much information on these that's not going to unlock three is it i don't know are these really unlocking three characters It is kind of strange. Are oh, you just getting a photo of these? I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Master unlock though. If all the social stretch goals are unlocked, you're going to get a team image of all character miniatures. All the character miniatures. So I um, might have to get there to see what all these look like. If they, um, if you are unlocking characters through this. Anyway, it's very cool in whatever it's doing. So I'll get on there. So our gadget is like a mechanic, this one. It would have been nicer here to show the abilities too, so we can get to see how they roll out. Because you're kind of keeping it a secret here. And if you look at games on Kickstarter like Dice Throne, they like to show you the character abilities. Why you're hiding it? We need to see it. Come on. And I think showing them off, showing the special ability, showing the ultimates will get people excited about these. This is just, hey, look at our mini, look at the little bit of lore on them. That's about it, so it could do with more. Um, now the minis, the previews of the minis do look nice. They are not like dynamic, are they? They're kind of posing for the, the photograph when they could be way more dynamic. I mean, you're in a battle here and they're just kind of posing like they might be in a museum. So, <sighs> Mirina here, she's almost posing. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, they all look good. They just could be more dynamic. The bear is the only one that's looking like it's getting ready to attack, and, um, and this one, I mean, come on, what is going on with this one? The Watchers have chosen Arabeth to fight in the arena, placing a great burden on the other champions by her very presence. Always up with a challenge, Arabeth seeks to claim dominion, dominion over her enemies and plans to use her powers and charms to make her way back to a dark kingdom. So, but I still don't know what this character is all about. It's just weird. Vampire. <laughs> and Harold. None of them are looking dynamic. Arabeth is the worst one. Completely worst. Um, they could just be in a museum posing like this, and no dynamic minis at all. They're supposed to be in a supposed to be in a battle, and the bases are all bare. And yeah, so it's hit and miss. It, these are all previews, though, and it's coming out March 2021, so it's a long time yet to go. Now we've got some playthrough, so you can get to see it, see it in action. It does look pretty interesting. And um, just two, though. 
We need kind of more. Maybe there's more coming. Definitely needs to get a little bit more. And um, yeah, so it might grow in popularity um, as the campaign goes through. So it's probably worth keeping an eye on. Shipping isn't too bad actually, and. It's, you know, it's pretty cool. I mean, <clears throat> I would like to see more. We're going to look in the rule book, see if we can find any more juicy information about these characters. But, um, yeah, so we'll go to the rule book right after this important message. A big thanks to our subscribers as we've smashed the 250 sub goal. And new music will be pouring into all our new videos. The next stretch goal is the big five. Hundred, which we calling the day one live event if there's any giant kickstarter games coming out we will do a live stream as soon as it breaks so you can watch our first impressions of the hottest kickstarter games also if this unlocks we will be bringing you all of the games that have those pesky early bird deals so you can get the action when it comes so you never miss the opportunity to unlock something really cool that you may have to pay in the add-ons so this will make sure our program is heading towards the best we can do for you and you will help make the station become the best damn kickstarter board game channel that there is help us evolve the channel by simply subscribing now, this is rulebook version 2.43. <laughs> so it's going through its paces. And um, still not got the the front cover. Got all those characters. You can put them on the front of the rulebook. Way more exciting than what it would be here. Anyhow, what's in the box? What is frame? What is in the box? I mean, it does look good on the table. I do like it. Deployment zones are as far away from each other as you can get it. <laughs> Set up here. This should definitely be over two pages on your book. Um, it looks like there's a lot going on on the table, doesn't it? You've got your hero card. You've got uh, this card here. What is that? And item cards look very big actually here in this picture. And you've got the collection of dice here. Now, it should kind of say. It should have colours on here, right? I mean, colours, what's like Numbers, it should be numbers. Because it's like, put, put these cards here, put that there, put the set up, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Right, the champion cards here. The only one that we're getting then is the gunslinger. And um, it looks like, you know, his ability is either big gun, make a long ranged attack against an enemy champion. Bullseye, make another long range attack against an enemy champion. And um, twin pistols, make one long range attack against an enemy champion. <laughs> So essentially, you know, the, the abilities are kind of. So this twin pistols looks like it's his ultimate. Then it's using, it needs three attacks on the dice. Um, make a long range attack, and at long range, a second range attack against a different champion at short range. So it's kind of a two shot. Um, going on. It's supposed to be fairly fast anyway, isn't it? But. It, it's almost um, dice thrown light. In fact, it would be interesting dice thrown in a, an arena like this, wouldn't it? Because you've got way more abilities with your characters in dice thrown. Anyway, there's only three. And we're only seeing one champion card. And here it, I don't know, it really needs to take something from dice thrown, how they've done the um, character cards and their abilities 
and it looks like these abilities, they've only got three abilities which are attack, have they not got any support, have they not got any defense, special abilities, um, so it kind of looks like it's been really um, simplified. So rulebook is, you know, it's obviously going through paces, and and, and there it is. I mean, it's you know, we've got walls of text here, and, uh, and different stuff like. That. I mean, it's a very small rulebook. I mean, it's, it's a very simple game. Do you have what it takes? Does this Kickstarter have what it takes to entice you in and tell you more about this game? It's doing a poor job at the minute. The character boards definitely could do with a pass for certain. We need some defensive, some support abilities on here. And, uh, and the card doesn't like make it obvious where your health is. And stuff like that, so, you know. Anyhow, there we go. I th I think it could definitely do with a pass, and it has good examples out there, which is dice thrown, where you can you can look at to see what each character is doing there, because they've got a ton of abilities, and these have only got three on them, which is kind of weak. T. Let's go back to the Kickstarter page to wrap it up. All right, so that's Frey, Champions of the Everyverse. Needs to do a lot more to tell you its message. Could definitely do with a pass on the minis to make them more dynamic. They all look like they're from a museum. Character boards need a pass, need more abilities, need support, defense abilities. The three abilities, including the ultimate, aren't exactly that interesting. And... Um, Yeah, I mean, the guy with the pistols, I mean, if he's short-ranged, and he might be able to do a shot where he knocks people back, and, or he jumps back when he fires as a getaway clause, a push you away clause, there's just none of this nuance between the characters. Not that we can see. And with all these characters, it would be beautiful to show off all of the cards with all their abilities, so we can really investigate which characters we like, and stuff like that. No stretch, go to get a get rid of these Monopoly dice and um, it would be nice to get more unique items as stretch goals as well but um, other than that it needs more coverage out there it needs more backers and um, yeah it's something to watch I think it's got potential but it needs a it needs it needs to do more definitely needs to say it's it needs to sell itself it needs to sell itself more it really does. I'll give it a pass so far. It has got me interested, but um, I might come back to have a look at it near the end of the campaign and see what has changed, because at the minute, it needs change, doesn't it? We need more here. That's its problem. Anyway, that's Frey, Champions of the Everyverse. Would we recommend it? Not yet, but who knows? 24 days to um, go in a place different where it is now. And um, so, so, yeah, there's free. Well, on that bombshell, I'm Lipstick Patty, your host. This is Kickstarter Radio 102.4. You take care, stay safe, and bye-bye for now.